week until the series is over, and that's in about three, four weeks. Uh, Governor Jesse Ventura is giving us uh, 30 minutes to talk about the TV show, but he's in a very good mood today because they're deposing Kyle, the Navy SEAL, the fellow Navy SEAL that said those things about Jesse that Jesse says are completely untrue. And, well, the guy has no witnesses, it turns out, and they're uh, deposing him right now but we'll, we'll see how much jesse can tell us just as an update on that because folks if they can destroy jesse ventura and say he loves navy seals dying which we know is asinine they can come out and say that alex jones says he likes to murder children you know somebody else could say that and destroy my character so uh, you know i really look forward uh, to uh, justice uh, being served but but that's not why he joins us today uh we have discovered that the show uh, Conspiracy Theory, for those that don't know, just to, uh, to give you some background, going back two and a half years ago, first aired on, what, Wednesdays, got highest ratings ever for a new show, was the number two show on uh, True TV, huge hit, uh, and then they moved the next series to Friday night, The Dead Zone. Still got great ratings. Then they wouldn't re-air the FEMA special and got all sorts of Homeland Security threats. That's been national news. Uh, erased it off people's TiVos, unprecedented, off their DVRs. Then they shot last year, because I was part of some of the episodes, shot it, held it for 11 months, re-edited it, took it away, re-edited it. Didn't show Ventura shooting the gun and all this really cool stuff. I mean, I could tell. Well, side issue. The point is... That, that they took the show away, but still very powerful. One guy they interviewed about direct, uh, you know, directed energy weapons dies a day and a half after Ventura talks to him. I mean, incredible stuff. Now they're not airing the TSA 8th episode. Now that's been axed. Now they move it from 9 to 10, then they move it to Monday night, and now they won't say where it's going to air. So it's kind of a treasure hunt here, and I'm going to stop ranting here. Former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura, best-selling author, uh, joins us here. Sir, uh, wow, what is going on uh, with the TV show? Well, Alex, you, I can't say it any better than what you just said right there. I don't know. Uh, they, we had a Wednesday slot at 9 Central, 10 Eastern, and then after one week, they moved it to 10 o'clock Central, 11 o'clock Eastern. And this Monday, I happened to be watching Monday Night Football, and I kind of hit the guide thing, and I, I saw True TV, 10 p.m. conspiracy theory. And I assumed that they were showing reruns, because I know on Thanksgiving morning, they showed some reruns of conspiracy theory when I was getting ready to go to my in-laws for Thanksgiving dinner. I had it out and watched a couple shows from a couple years ago. And uh, the Manchurian Candidate was one of the shows that we did a couple years ago. And uh, so Monday, I'm, I'm channel surfing doing Monday Night Football, and I see Conspiracy Theory 2 TV. I assumed it was reruns. Well, it was not. It was the Ozark episode, the one where we discover this underground city down in the Ozarks and that this town is being infiltrated with massive amount of banks. They now have one bank for every, I think, 52 people that live in the town. I mean, it's just bizarre. It's but usually it's one for every... One bank in the whole town. Uh, yeah. well, it aired Monday night, and now tonight I see they got pawn shop on or whatever it is all night long. So I have no idea when the show is going to air from week to week, and it's clear that they're doing everything they can to make the show a failure so that they don't have to renew it. Undoubtedly, uh, that is what is going on. They're scared of it. It's having an effect. They waited till the day after the election to air the first episode of the new season. It got really good ratings. So they move it. It gets good ratings again. You can go look them up online. So they move it again. I mean, this is incredible, Governor. I've never seen anything like it in the entertainment industry. You know, I've never seen. Oh, yeah, no, I will say one time I saw something like it when they hired me at MSNBC. And at the time, Phil Donahue was on with his short-lived show. He had the highest ratings on MSNBC, and they dropped him, and they wouldn't put me on the air because both of us were opposed to the Iraq war. And so they didn't want anyone out there with any opposition to the Iraq war. And speaking of that, Alex, I'd like to make this point for a moment. You know, they're, they're calling for an investigation of this stuff in Libya, right? The Republicans are yelling and screaming. They want a full investigation investigation of what happened at the Libyan embassy and that people aren't telling the truth, correct? Yes. How come these same elected officials were not calling 
waiting for a complete investigation on the Trump up to the Iraq war. The WMDs. Where, where they totally lied to us about the WMDs. They totally lied to us. Iraq had virtually no ties to al-Qaeda, which they told us that they did. And all of this hogwash. You didn't hear one of these elected officials out in Washington demanding an investigation. I thank goodness there was a black woman congressman, I caught her yesterday, who brought that very point up. She said, where were all these people when we got trumped into the Iraq war? Where was their call for an investigation when Colin Powell went in front of the U.N. and completely lied? It was not by his choice. He had the, the firing points that the Bush administration gave him. But he still went out there and told these bogus lies about curveball and all that stuff. This, this, it was all based upon an informant that Germany had, which Germany had already discarded him as no credibility. And that's what we ended up basing the entire Iraq war on. Where were these elected spineless pukes? who now want an investigation of Libya, but you won't see them touch an investigation of why we went into Iraq. I agree with you. I want to cover some other issues with you, uh, especially on the Manchurian candidate, since you mentioned that uh, in a moment, because that's in, uh, actually in the news today, in, in, even in mainstream Denver papers, concerning the Batman shooting. But before we go there, back to the TV show. Uh, I understand they spend millions of dollars making these, so they want to air them, but then if they don't, Aram, it also becomes another issue that they're censoring. I know the head of True TV promised you three years ago that uh, you wouldn't be censored, and I thought it was unprecedented. We had a private bet against the other producers, uh, you and I and others, that it wouldn't air. I agreed with you that it would never air. It was so hardcore. Uh, but then the second season, they did censor some shows. Now there's, they've nixed the TSA show about cancer, uh, and now they're just uh, hiding the show. Uh, I mean, are you going to talk to them or try to find out what's going on, or will they not talk to you? No, I, I have nothing more. You know, I, I, they still haven't even paid me yet. They still owe me a paycheck. Wow. And, I mean, this has been over a year since we completed the shows, and I'm, and I'm battling with them now to give me my, because that my contract states that I get my last check upon completion of all editing and when the show is ready to go on the air. Well, excuse me, Alex, three shows have aired. <laughs> and I still haven't seen my last paycheck yet. So I think it's clear to say uh, you're not too happy with Time Warner. or True TV or who's doing it. I mean, I'm sure I'll get paid. I got great lawyers and it's a pretty ironclad contract, but I just find it very disrespectful that everybody else on the show has been paid off, but the star of the show remains... You know, that's what I've... Still remaining to get. That's what I've noticed. It's weird that just in general life, as you get more famous, people treat you, in many cases, worse like they think you deserve to be treated bad or something. It's bizarre. And then all these losers wonder why they're not successful because they don't even know how to treat people with respect. Yeah, well, I find this very disrespectful that everyone on the show has been paid. My son's been paid. Uh, Sean Stone's been paid. Everybody, and they've been paid months ago. And yet I sit here now and the third show is already aired. Next week will be the fourth show and I still won't have gotten my last check. Amazing. Uh, it's obviously re-airing. Now, that's the real proof of the pudding if they're not re-airing it. Guys, check the uh, True TV schedule to see when the Ozarks conspiracy is re-airing. Just go to the Conspiracy Theory site. Just type in Conspiracy Theory and it comes up. And uh, we'll find out when that's airing. We'll talk about it in the next segment. But uh, talk about the Ozarks conspiracy because that was one of the shows I was most excited about. They're building giant underground bunkers, you know, uh, 50,000 well, square foot. This guy from the, that's got the surveillance. The satellite surveillance is building this house. It's supposedly a, it's supposedly a single-family dwelling, so he didn't have to pull any permits or anything. I mean, if you added a bathroom to your house, you'd have to go get permits from the city. You know, if you built an addition onto your house. And tell them how big it is. This guy built a house, I think it's 72 or 74,000 square feet, <laughs> and they're calling it a single-family dwelling. And
and it's got giant thick armored concrete walls look and the guys formerly with the nsa that's why they don't want that show being seen listen i've discovered an nsa base in my neighborhood talk to the homeowners association i'm not in the homeowners association but talk to one down the street and they go yeah no it's national security they're in a group of houses as a cover and i've, I've yet to go over there but that's what they do jesse well it might be like i said and this thing's built on top of a hill and there's tremendous amount of caves down there in the Ozarks. In the show, we actually infiltrate and drive for literally city blocks under the ground. And, I mean, the, they had tennis courts. They had everything there. And then they did editing where they, they, the final edit, they didn't show the tennis courts. I found that interesting, that they, that they really cut away from showing a great deal of what we saw underground to this underground city. They, they kind of slid over the top on it with their final editing. They showed us more in the car driving around in the underground city than they actually showed in the city itself. No, I can see that because I saw the footage of you, uh, you know, firing the machine guns. Uh, in the uh, David Icke episode, uh, and I mean, it looked, this is the most awesome footage ever. And I mean, I just know how TV works, and I can see what's going on, and I'm not pleased by what Time Warner's up to. I mean, uh, obviously there's some shenanigans going on. Well, look at it this way. We still manage to get them on. No, that's a big deal. Yeah, no matter what, the, how they edit them and how they're trying to destroy the ratings and putting them on all different nights so nobody knows when they're actually going to air, it's still remarkable that they got on, and I'm, I'm proud that I won that Stony Award, the Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, they gave it to me. They said conspiracy theory, just managing to get this on the air, deserves a Lifetime Achievement Award. That's right. That's right. In fact, congratulations, Governor Ventura. I feel good just being involved in it. And, and the whole crew, the production crew, were awesome folks. Uh, everybody involved there. As we saw in Katrina, and as we are watching now in New York and New Jersey, the federal government can't and won't help you in a crisis. FEMA ran out of water and MREs in days. Electricity is still off to over one million people. The Red Cross, who is quick to beg for money, is now slow to react. Don't put it off any longer. Get prepared today. The InfoWars shop is the largest distributor of ProPure water filter systems. And now, get 15% off your ProPure order with the promo code WATER15. While you're on InfoWarsShop.com, check out these other great preparedness items. The Aquapod Kit lets you store up to 65 gallons of water in your bathtub. The Pocket Socket provides you with manual electricity for small electronics like your cell phone. The Life Straw is great for your bug out bag. And check out our complete line of inner food products for great tasting and nutritionally dense foods that have a great shelf life. If you are looking to secure your home in a crisis, you can order Strategic Relocations the film. A great companion to the book Strategic Relocations 3rd Edition and The Secure Home by Joel Skousen. When the time to perform arrives, the time to prepare has already passed. Get prepared now, so if a crisis strikes your home, you and your family will be secure. Go to InfoWarsShop.com and don't forget the promo code WATER15. segment with Jesse Ventura. I've gone to TrueTV.com and in the last two seasons well, they, they air these like 50 times over the next year and generally they aired about 10 times that week in all these different slots because it's a new hot show. Everybody knows that about cable with shows on True TV, History, Discovery, you name it. I mean I was just on a Discovery show uh, dealing with Secrets of Secret Societies and they've aired it like 15 times in a month and I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> it's funny I watch Conspiracy Theory but not shows I'm on well, I guess I'm on Conspiracy Theory, too. The point is, they're definitely deep-sixing it. And I think, you know, it's a free country. Plus, I don't like going and working and not having something getting seen. Uh, I think this is probably, maybe the best uh, season, despite all the stuff they've done to it. Jesse was just agreeing with me during the break. I want him to say that in his own words, but uh, I'm pretty angry. I mean, I don't like doing stuff and it not getting on air. That's why I've turned down at least five, with the contracts, uh, reality TV shows. Because I'm not going to go shoot stuff like I've done in the past and have it not air. Jesse, I mean, I mean, does it make you angry? Well, it's frustrating.
frustrating because, you know, we work real hard on the show. The cast and the crew are very committed. A. Smith is a tremendous production company out in L.A., and I have no complaints on that end. We've put together marvelous shows and have fought them on the editing and reached compromises to where the shows achieve what they want and what we want. It's just very frustrating when you work that hard and to have your top network actually out to try to make you fail. So they can say you failed. Well, it's more they're scared of what's in these. And um, coming up next week, uh, who knows? They say they're airing the Skinwalker episode. Uh, Jesse, any other points you want to make on the TV show? No, just that I hope people enjoy them. They're, they're certainly entertaining. I'm very proud of what we've done. And in, in doing this show, it's, we've done 24 of them now. I'll say this about it. I've met some of the most interesting, strange people in the world. And really, that's what life's all about, isn't it? Going out there and getting life experiences. And i got to tell you, doing three seasons of Conspiracy Theory has really added, if you can, to my life experiences. Oh, I've had an amazing time. Just the shows, three or four each uh, season that I've been able to be involved with. Why do you think the FEMA camp show scared them so bad because you had former FBI agents admitting plans to round us up? Well, because I, obviously they, they, they don't want us to know, and if you tie that into the show that we showed uh, that showed Monday on uh, the Ozarks, it appears that the elites are going to all go underground while the big Armageddon happens up above, and, uh, I, I, and who goes into these FEMA camps? Obviously, they don't want people to realize that these camps are out there and that they're waiting for us, that they, uh, whoever's going to end up in them. And uh, who will that be? Dissenters like me and Alex Jones? I don't know. But uh, obviously they've got somebody in mind that's going to occupy these places, or why would they be building six of them throughout the country? Well, the, the power structure is scared of you. That's why they waited until you went into Mexico to announce that you were dancing around saying you were glad Navy SEALs were dead. When you'd been on my show saying you hate the wars because it kills people, you were there to speak at a commencement. You were there to, uh, to, to support people. It's asinine you would do something like that. I know you too well for seven years now. Briefly, uh, things are going uh, well, if there's any justice at least, uh, uh, in your uh, lawsuit to get your name back. Him today, and uh, I'm as, as far as I'm concerned, we're heading to trial because uh, I'm not going to settle because I want my name restored to me, and I wanted a uh, jury to come down with the preponderance of evidence stating that the event never happened and that this guy lied top to bottom. You know that the whole that whole chapter of it is, in his book is a complete lie. So naturally, I would question everything else in his book because if that's a lie, what else is a lie? Well, it's just ridiculous that you would say something like that. And I know it hurts you when I called you in uh, Mexico and gave you the news. Um, but uh, it, it's... I, I've, it hurt me. I'll tell you, I am so loyal to the teams, the underwater demolition SEAL teams, that in my deposition, I told them, I said, other than killing my wife and children, this is the worst thing that could have ever happened to me. No, I never heard you like it. I mean, you didn't start crying, but you were, you, I could tell it was, you had to sit down. Did you have to sit down when I told you that? Uh, no, but uh, it, it gutted me because I feel betrayed. I feel, and like I've said, Alex, I don't think I can go to a reunion again because I'd be looking over my shoulder. That was the one place I could go to, no matter what I did, where I always felt safe. I always felt I'd never get stabbed in the back. Now it simply isn't true. I don't trust the young guys out there now. Uh, you know, who, who, who will be the next to throw me under the bus for their convenience and, their, and so they can make money? When people try to steal your honor, it, it dishonors them. And it's just so pitiful. Yeah, it really truly is. And, and uh, that's why I'm going to go to court on this thing. I won't say there won't be a settlement, but in order for a settlement to take place, he's going to have to come out and openly admit. That, the, that, that that chapter in his book was fabricated. Jesse, I know you've got to go, but I'm going to twist your arm here. I've got one more question on the other side with Jesse Ventura. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. A few more minutes with former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura. By the way, we carry his last four books. They're all excellent. 
uh, I know everybody knows the Republicans and Democrats are part of the same club at the top. His new book exposes that, but it's a great gift to give your friends and family that don't know. Uh, and his new book on that subject is available. I love his document on the 63 documents the government doesn't want you to read because it's a quick page turner, but fill the documents and photos. Uh, don't start the revolution without me. They're all available at InfoWarsStore.com, discounted uh, together or separately, or call 888-253-3139. Uh, a lot of work went into this, and I was talking to the Gov during the break, and I said, hey, do you want to give the number out uh, or the email? Well, I mean, in your own words, do you think people should contact True TV and try to make sure that they uh, don't deep six this uh, season? Well, uh, you know, if people are outraged like I am that they haven't given us one specific time that you can look forward to every week, I mean, how do they expect a TV show to be successful when it's on Wednesday at two different times and then they switch it over to Monday and, don't, and there's no advertising, they don't tell anybody? So it's clear. And if people want to call them, I'd love it. I'd love for people to call up True TV and Time Warner and express their dissatisfaction with how they're trying to deep six conspiracy theory and that obviously they don't want the show to be successful. Well said, and, and there's a toll number and a toll-free number. We'll give them both out. It's 212-484-8000, uh, 212-484-8000. They erase the shows off DVRs. They, they don't air shows. Ask them, where's the TSA special about the, 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 the cancer? Uh, Chertoff gets interviewed and gets destroyed. Uh, just like they just, that congressman you got exposed about the FEMA camps, trying to say they didn't exist, then he was shown the bill that he co-supported. And then he had, oh, I do remember that bill. I mean, I mean, Jesse, you absolutely annihilated that guy. And then, and, and Ron Paul, in his farewell address two weeks ago, said, "We have more and more a state-run media, and what and, and what's happened to you, Governor, is proving it." Oh yeah, I, I agree co completely that uh, our media today, for the most part, is corporate-run by the corporate powers and the power entities of the world. And unfortunately, that's where probably 90% of Americans get their facts from today. And until they break free from corporate media and start looking in other places to learn the truth, I'm afraid we're going to head down a bad road here. I agree with you. Let me give that number out again. It's 212-484-8000. And here's the toll-free number. Uh, we'll put that up on screen for TV viewers. Radio listeners, it's 800-268-7856, 800-268-7856. And look, if you are a cable subscriber or a Dish Network or DirecTV, uh, you know, call up and say, hey, uh, you know what? This is one of my favorite shows. It's got top ratings. We want to see the TSA show. And we want to see the FEMA camp show re-air from last year. And we want to see these not hidden and moved around like it's an Easter egg hunt. Why are you doing this? Uh, Governor, in closing here, we were talking about being honorable during the break. And I was saying, you know, that I would never betray you or, or any of my friends. And you were saying, well, that's all anybody's got uh, uh, is, is their honor. Uh, and, and, you know, it's so sad that you're saying you don't feel safe now even going to a Navy SEAL reunion that somebody else could just make something up about you. But that's the, that's the new modern thing where you just make something up. Just in the last two weeks, I have stopped a corporation and a law firm from suing people who, who lied about them just to get at me because, I, because I'm just too busy fighting the globalist that I've just accepted people are going to lie and try to destroy my character. They're just so dumb, they then attack other people, and they have no idea that I'm sitting there holding back lawsuits against them. And well, I don't think it's I... interesting, Alex, because I do a lot of reading, and I read a thing recently in a book where they said they'll destroy, that, that, that the government will destroy their character before they assassinate you. Your character will get assassinated first, and then your physical body will be assassinated second. That's where I was going. It's incredible. We're on the same page. I didn't know exactly. That's why this is dangerous, is that when they really intensify this stuff, that's when they're getting ready to kill you. And, and I hope they don't kill you. I hope they don't kill me. <laughs> oh, well, if they do, we'll go down in a blaze of glory. Well, now, now you said you... you <laughs> When the government comes out with an official story, it's generally to protect officials. 
Well, that's what I've said. When they come out instantly with something like 25 minutes after Breitbart had gone to the hospital and, and said, oh, it's, it's, it's normal, it's official, it's nothing. Uh, when they come out and say, oh, well, we got Lee Harvey Oswald before he's even been arrested, that's when you know. And, and here's my final point on that. I know you did a mind control episode. You've done a lot of research on it. It's in the Denver papers, Westworld and others that the uh, inmate and, and other inmates are saying similar things that James Hold Holmes, the Batman shooter, said he was under mind control. Let me just fill you in on this, Governor, if you don't know. The, the, the top Pentagon, I mean, she was the head of the Air Force program in San Antonio. She was sent out there, and the police said, oh, we don't want the five-inch file she had with him, uh, where, where reportedly... Uh, the defense wanted it, talking about how he was planning all this. They said, we don't want that. The prosecution doesn't want that. They tried to suppress it, and they have suppressed it. Now the police say no inmates were around him, but it was on the news that for days he was yelling and screaming and that the inmates were complaining. Holmes reportedly told inmates he was under mind control and was programmed, and it turns out he was in a DARPA program for brain interface to hypnotize people. This is all confirmed. I mean, this fits the Sirhan Sirhan model, but with a high-tech overlay. Th there's a briefing, Gov. What is your take on this? Well, again, you know, I, I've, I've questioned, I question all the assassinations that have happened in this country because take a look at who gets killed. The people who die violently are the people who stand for peace. John Lennon, John Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, you go right down the line. People that were standing up for peace always end up dying violently, and every time they die, it's a lone nut assassin. Anybody that buys into that hogwash is naive, and they deserve what they get. I agree. I've talked uh, off record to some of the people in and around. I'm not even going to get into it. In fact, I'm sworn to confidence. I can't even say with but But one of those assassinations you mentioned and the stuff they told me, this is a very well-known person. I said, you've got to come on air. And they said, look, you just get threatened. I've lost family. I know how real this is. And, and, and so I'm like, okay. Uh, but I mean, it's, and I know they're probably listening right now. It's just, it, like you said, three years of conspiracy theory and what you did before that as a governor and all the rest of it is, has shown you the real world out there. What do you want to say to folks in closing who are naive and haven't seen the things you or I have seen? Well, I just want to tell them again, open up your minds and open up your hearts and understand that government is run by people and people can be evil. They need to take government off this pedestal that they won't lie to us, they won't deceive us because, yes, they will. They do it all the time, and people need to wake up to that fact. And the sooner that they wake up to that fact, the better off we're all going to be. Well, we appreciate your courage uh, with the show. I know there's some behind-the-scenes things happen with the FEMA episode, but we're not supposed to get into that. And uh, just thank you, Governor, for all you've done. And uh, we'll talk to you again for an another update uh, next Monday, if that's actually when they're airing the next episode. Thank you so much. Okay, Alex, we'll look forward to it. We'll talk Monday if, if we're on the air that day. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. There goes Governor Jesse Ventura. He'll be on for 30 minutes, went a little bit longer this week, uh, next Monday. Just a great guy behind the scenes. So real. Uh, I mean, just I've gotten to really know him well, that he is real and uh, just wants to go off and be reclusive and play golf. <laughs> I don't I don't blame him, but uh, he wants to ride off into the sunset, but he, he doesn't like the corruption that's taking place either. And again, I don't agree with some of the things Ventura, you know, I've told him this to his face. And he is same here. You know, he, he doesn't agree with some of the things I believe, but he's real. I mean, I just want real people. Can't you just be real? Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.